Hello, I am back and today we are going to have a look at something that's very popular on uh, social media, Instagram especially. I'm sure if you if you spend any amount of time on uh, honestly any social platform, I'm sure you have seen this type of image and the image I'm talking about is this one because you, you know these uh, like face detachment images at least in my own in my own experience they're so popular on Instagram and uh, you tend to see them quite a lot but despite them being so popular for some reason they're super simple to make you literally just detach the face put some light in and adjust whatever you want to adjust and uh, so I thought this would be a perfect video to show you guys how uh, I made this image with some neon style and uh, I really like this one because inside of the face you know you can see there's a um, kind of like clouds inside of it anyway before I get uh, lost in my own thoughts of it let's just start it right away and so with that said I had this source image, the, even though, um, or rather, the, even the source image uh, I used was quite really, um, it was very well lit and it suited perfectly for what I wanted to do. Um, and so literally what I started doing was I just completely masked out the face, marked it and deselected it and uh, put it in again on a new layer. Or actually what I <laughs> did too was for some reason I did something that I didn't want to do so I uh, redid the selection again as you can see that I'm doing right here. Um, and also can I mention, yes I am in my uh, cozy morning robe because that's just the way I do things. I am cozy, I'm having a day off from work and uh, who can tell me otherwise, right? And so this right here, I had a kind of a um, idea for what I wanted to do with it. And what I'm doing here, I'm actually taking a boomerang video for Instagram. When I moved the, the mouse like that, I, uh, I did a video for, for social media, which for for uh, since we're talking about it you can follow me on Instagram at Fosh Jonathan Jonathan and you'll see stuff like this anyways enough of that what I did here was I grabbed the color from the dark parts of uh, of the face of the original original source image and so I just painted it in on uh, on a new layer underneath the face to get the sort of hollow feeling and also here I am just smoothing out the markings because as you can see even on the face right here you can see that the uh, the edge is very uneven it's almost like a bumpy road you know and so I wanted it um, to have a more of a sharp feeling rather and uh, so that's exactly what I'm doing uh, I know some people do prefer it to be more like soft and it kind of fades away and they even some people even put uh, uh, like an edge you know like a thick edge on it and sure well that may or well that's one way of doing it that's that's not the way I do it and so what I'm working on here right now is I'm adding since I wanted to have some sort of neon light I just added a bit of a uh, edge inside on on a, uh, on a layer underneath the face but on top of the purple color in the background uh, and so I'm playing around with that and trying out a different uh, layer uh, effects and so here since I want more neon lights I wanted to glow a bit so I'm using a another brush and painting on top of the face this time to get since the light would obviously shine onto the face not just underneath it and then to give it that extra feeling to get glowy feeling I made a new a new 
layer called a uh, exposure layer and so I just masked it and painted in where I wanted the light and I increased it as I, uh, as I wanted it to and also there on top of the of the face, face there I kind of struggled to get it the way I wanted it to look but uh, I, I don't think anyone will notice and uh, I'm still learning and you are too so we're here learning together isn't that wonderful and uh, what I'm doing here is I'm doing some uh, shadows uh, from the face since the light is coming from here so if I was looking here and the face is like over here and there's a hole here there would obviously be some shadow uh, on on my face uh, or like inside the face you know <laughs> you you get what I mean um, and uh, yeah so I'm playing around with that a bit and also here I'm doing the exact same thing as I did on the on the head layer uh, I'm just painting painting in behind the face to get that glowy feel inside and then I am doing I do believe I will do that at least doing uh, another layer where I paint on top since I want the glow effect to be on top of the face too uh, to make it look better and then I do the exact same thing I grab an exposure layer I mask it and I paint in paint in where I want the, the neon light effect and also right here I do believe <laughs> I went to grab a glass of water um, so that is why I am not um, uh, doing anything right now but uh, I could cut this away I will probably do it but if you're watching this I obviously did not cut it away and uh, that's the fun part about uh, recording this as every time I do these uh, edits since uh, I'm actually gonna do that so it's a, a proper full screen I didn't even notice right so now I'm painting in the neon color the neon light and I'm giving, giving it a bit of an extra glow because I wanted it to glow um, even more than, than I initially was planning to. And uh, so at this point I didn't really know what more to do. Um, I obviously cropped it for so it would fit the cropping that Instagram does automatically. And I really didn't know what to do because I had this effect, I was kind of done, I could leave it to this, I mean it looks good, right? At least at least in my own opinion, <laughs> I hope you think so too. Um, and yeah, I could leave it to this, but I wanted to do something more, I wanted it to be even more special. And what I'm doing here is, I don't even remember to be honest, don't even remember what I was doing here. I think I was playing around with some um, brushes, but I don't remember why. Ah, wait, yes, I remember, I remember. Um, I wanted to, remember how I said uh, some people like doing like an edge, so you can see that the face is actually like, um, I guess a shell, I guess is a good word for it. You can uh, see that there's a thickness to, to the face, to the skin, to the shell. Um, and so I tried to do that, but I didn't really manage to do it. So instead what I did, I just, uh, instead I smoothed out the edge. Uh, even though I made it very sharp uh, from the beginning, and that's the idea that I wanted to do at the start. Uh, I eventually at this point changed my mind and just smoothed out the edge. And so I gave it the feeling of uh, that the neon lights is like... Uh, smashing out the light, smashing out the exposure lev level so you can't see the detail of the edge of the face and it looks good in my opinion um, however it is kind of a cheating move because at the end of the day um, it would look better if you could actually see the edge of, uh, of the image and here I love this uh, this uh, brush. I, I think I use this cloud brush in every single image I do, I create. Uh, there's something about it. Clouds, for some reason, fits in almost every single creation you do. It either creates sort of a surrealistic... Do you say that? Surrealistic? Anyway, 
a special surrealistic feeling of the image or it creates a more dramatic feeling and in this case it's obviously very surrealistic since you <laughs> I don't think you have clouds in your in your head or I mean if you're kind of dumb like me I'm sure you have some clouds in there it's all it's all foggy can't can't think properly um, and so as I was saying that I maxed out the uh, the white background and so I instead of having the white background I wanted it to have a sort of a gradient to it and so that's exactly what I'm doing here I'm just putting that on top of the white layer in the background and uh, playing around with that a little bit because I wanted to have sort of um as if there's like a neon light shining onto the face and uh, that's the vibe that I was going for and also it, everything just blends together so much better and here I'm playing around a little bit with the color to see if in, just in case if um, if it could look better with another shade and what I ended up on was a more of a blue color um, I could have left it to the more uh, more um, what do you call it more purple color and uh, but I did not and also this right here, I think this is the best thing I did with the whole image. Uh, it completely transforms it, because what I did was I grabbed a fog brush and added some fog to the face so that the clouds sort of blend in together with the rest of the image so it wouldn't look as uh, fake, you know? And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm making it as if, um, as if the fog is kind of like pouring out of the face like you detach the face and then all the fog and clouds is coming out from the head. That's at least the kind of feeling I went for. And uh, this right here, I'm adding a bit of a, some uh, texture to give it some extra feeling to as if it, there's uh, like particles falling out from the face or from the head rather, uh, from the clouds and all. And I, as I always do, I always add some a faded look to it because I, I don't know, it's, I'm, I'm in love with that kind of special look. It's a favorite of mine. And uh, I'm also playing around with some colors to see if I can get a different feeling, I guess. Um, and since I wanted to be more light than um, or rather I wanted more contrast in the final image and that's exactly what this uh, gradient did and uh, now when I put on that final layer I just zoom in, check that everything looks good and also at this final stage I always do the same thing because I look through the layers, layer effects and see if there's anything else that I might want to add and so that's the final image result and to me I am super happy because this is the very first um, very first like face detachment image that I've ever done actually I've done a lot of things but never this uh, face detachment effect and uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video because I certainly did enjoy both recording it and creating the actual image and so with that said I just hope you have a wonderful day and thumbs up for good luck. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment if you have any questions, I'll get right back to you. And also check me out on Twitter and Instagram because I love you and you hopefully love me. So give us, let's give each other some, some love. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Peace.